Hey pals, welcome to a new video. This is not a happy video. Uh, this is a pretty, pretty sad one, actually. I am currently under attack. If you play indie games from online developers, if you are a developer yourself, you are under attack. Uh, because my game's being stolen. Yes, it's, it's finally happening. Uh, not in the way you might think though. So I, Adam, uh, who is the developer of this game called Insignia. I've been working on my game for a few years and the game is not a huge game. It's it's basically, you know, very grassroots. I'm working on it by myself. I have a reasonable, reasonably sized community who is growing and is excited about the game, but I don't have a Steam page yet. I don't have like a big Kickstarter with thousands and thousands of backers. I'm really just, you know, one guy posting from my channels. And yet a team of scammers has taken it upon themselves to uh, clone my website, uh, take assets from screenshots that are available of the game, logos, my company logo, and recreate those on free hosting places like GitHub. Uh, basically steal a Discord server with a few hundred users, which they have kind of retrofitted as an Insignia server. And this Insignia server is essentially one big malware scam. So they parade around saying, hey, I'm the developer of this game. They reach out to unsuspecting Discord users from my community, from other communities. They DM them personally. These aren't bots, these are people. And they say, hey, I'd like some eyes on my game. Would you mind playing my demo and telling me what you think? Leading these users to these clone websites where the download link for the game is a malware link. These malware executables effectively scrape their Discord uh, user info as far as I understand and compromise them turning them into bots which then spam nitro links or you know steal any user account details they can it's horrendous it's terrible and it's something that's very difficult for me to do anything about it's affected my community in a few terrible ways already like for me personally you know I have to take time away from developing my game to make videos like this uh, to report the perpetrators to discord to GitHub, wherever they've hosted their stuff. This takes time. Thankfully, because it's malware, I haven't had to file a DMCA claim, which would take way longer if they were doing anything other than um, hosting, you know, actual harmful information. If I was just trying to protect my IP, this would be even harder for me to defend. It's put a strain on my mod community who have to then uh, deal with these bot accounts. Um, and many of these bot accounts, of course, are accounts that belong to real users. There are people who have actually been active in the community, who message all the time, who watch my stream, whose accounts have been compromised and who now have to be basically be banned because they can't control their own accounts anymore. And of course it sows distrust, right? This is a place where everybody who's here is already undergoing a significant amount of risk to create content, to uh, try to get their games seen and to have their voices heard. They're putting copious amounts of time, incredible amounts of time into creating their intellectual property, their games, which are of course valuable, but they have no way of defending that value, right? It's like, what can we do to stop anonymous strangers stealing publicly available assets that we distribute to get people to be aware of our content? And that's not really a wedge that we can afford to have being driven between the people who play the games and the people who make the games. So, I know I'm not the only one who's been targeted by a scam like this. I know that there are other developers of reasonably visible games, games that are established but aren't yet released. This is, at the very least, a warning, a way to sound the alarm bell a little bit. If you're a user, please do not click any link that does not come from my official channels. I will create uh, a Steam page when it's time and any kind of demo or beta will be available there at the Steam page. I have the itch page. You already know where the links to that is. You can see it in the description. If you're interested in playing the game, you can find it there. You don't have to be approached by me on Discord telling you uh, to play my game. So that's all I can say for now. Um, if you have any information, if anyone approaches you, please uh, signal uh, to myself or to the mods of my Discord uh, and spread the word. Share this video if you like. Uh, to anybody who you think may be affected by this issue. If all of us are aware of it, I believe that we can minimize the amount of strain that gets placed on any one individual. And hopefully 
that will disincentivize these people from continuing to uh, attack vulnerable game developers and their communities. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.